Hello everyone. Mercury is known as one of the innermost planets of the solar system. It takes its name from the god Mercury in Roman mythology. Mercury, which stands out as the closest planet to the sun, is also known as the smallest planet in the solar system. Mercury's surface is full of pits, mountains, and fissures that indicate volcanic activity. Mercury's proximity to the sun exposes it to extreme temperatures. During the day, surface temperatures can reach as high as 400 degrees, while at night the temperature can quickly drop to minus 100 degrees. Additionally, Mercury's rotation speed around the Sun is quite high compared to other planets. A year lasting approximately 88 Earth days is enough for Mercury to complete its full rotation around the Sun. Because Mercury's atmosphere is quite sparse, atmospheric interactions are very limited compared to other planets in the solar system. Therefore, craters and geological formations on its surface have remained almost unchanged. NASA's MESSENGER mission provided detailed mapping of Mercury, providing more information about the planet. Mercury's magnetic field is also quite weak compared to other planets. Mercury represents one of the unexplored areas of the solar system, although it has a very different structure compared to our planet Earth. Further discoveries and research in the future will help us answer questions about the formation and evolution of Mercury and allow us to learn more about this hot and harsh planet of the solar system. First, let's talk about the discovery of Mercury and its historical significance. Ancient observers began to follow and observe the planet Mercury. Ancient Greek astronomer Aristotle, who lived in the 4th century BC, described Mercury as the evening star and morning star. This is because observers see it setting at sunset or rising at sunrise. The closeness of Mercury's orbit to the Sun makes it difficult to observe it from Earth. Because the planet is so close to the Sun, it is often overlooked due to the dazzling brightness of sunlight. This prevented ancient observers from observing Mercury clearly. However, some ancient observers followed Mercury closely and attempted to record the planet's movements. Ptolemy, also known as Ptolemy, was an important astronomer and geographer who lived during the ancient Greek period. As an astronomer who studies the movements of the planet Mercury and other planets, the place of Mercury in the Ptolemaic period is very important. Ptolemy explained the orbit and movements of Mercury in detail in his work, Almagest. In the geocentric model accepted at that time, the Earth was thought to be the center of the universe and other planets revolved around the Earth in circular orbits. Ptolemy observed that the rate of rotation of Mercury in this circular orbit was variable and that the planet sometimes moved backwards. This observation is known as Mercury's retrograde motion. Ptolemy explained Mercury's orbit with a complex system of epicycles. Epicycles are auxiliary circular orbits used to describe retrograde motion by rotating on the planet's main orbit. This model was accepted for a long time because it gave results consistent with observations at that time. Ptolemy works were used as the main source of astronomy throughout the Middle Ages and contributed to the mathematical description of planetary motions. However, Ptolemy's geocentric model, Nicolaus Copernicus, it took its place with the heliocentric model and was an important step in the transition to modern astronomy. The recognition and discovery of Mercury as a planet took place with Galileo Galilei and the telescope playing an important role. Galileo was a scientist who examined the sky using a telescope at the beginning of the 17th century and made important discoveries. Thanks to Galileo's telescope, he was able to make detailed observations in the sky, unlike the observation techniques of that period. In 1610, when Galileo examined Mercury with his telescope, he discovered that the planet went through different phases. These phases were similar to the phases of Venus. This observation by Galileo has been accepted as one of the evidence showing that Mercury and Venus are planets revolving around the Sun. The Ptolemaic system that was dominant at that time and led to Copernicus provided support for the heliocentric model. In the Ptolemaic system, the planets were thought to revolve around the Earth, while in Copernicus' model it was suggested that they revolve around the Sun. 
Galileo's observations and use of the telescope were a turning point in understanding the true nature of the planets and the structure of the universe. The observation of the phases of Mercury was considered one of the evidence that the planets revolved around the Sun and led to the questioning of the geocentric model of the Ptolemaic period. Galileo's work and the invention of the telescope provided a revolutionary advance in the field of astronomy. These discoveries played an important role in recognizing Mercury as a planet and understanding the true structure of the solar system. Galileo's observations contributed to the development of scientific thought and laid the groundwork for modern astronomy. The anomaly in Mercury's orbit is explained by the work of Johannes Kepler and his famous Kepler's Laws. Kepler was a 17th-century German astronomer and mathematician. His observations and mathematical analyses of the movements of the planets in the solar system revealed the existence of an anomaly in the orbit of Mercury. Kepler, Tycho based on the data obtained from Brahe's detailed observations, he discovered that the planets revolved in elliptical orbits and moved away from the focus of the Sun and approached again. As a result of these studies, he formulated three important laws, Kepler's laws. The anomaly in Mercury's orbit is specifically related to Kepler's first law, orbits are elliptical. Mercury's orbit is more eccentric than the orbits of other planets. This indicates that Mercury's movement in the perihelion region, where it is closer to the Sun and moves faster, is faster than in other regions. Kepler's second law, equal areas will be equalized in equal times, plays an important role in explaining this rapid movement in Mercury's orbit. Mercury moves faster in the perihelion region, where it is closer to the Sun, and slower in the aphelion region, where it is further away. This shows that the planet scans equal areas in its orbit at equal times due to the gravitational force on the Sun. Finally, Kepler's third law, the orbital periods of the planets are proportional to the cube of their semi-major axes, also helps explain Mercury's orbit. This law establishes a relationship between the time it takes for Mercury to complete its rotation around the Sun and the size of its orbit. Kepler's laws mathematically explain the anomaly in Mercury's orbit and the movements of other planets. These laws are important scientific principles that precisely express the order of the solar system and the movements of the planets. Mercury's rapid motion in its orbit and the eccentricity of its orbit can be explained by Kepler's laws. Kepler's laws mathematically express the motions of the planets in the solar system, providing us with a basic understanding of the orbits of the planets. These laws show that the orbits of the planets are elliptical and sweep equal areas around the Sun in equal times. It also states that there is a proportion between the orbital periods of the planets and the cube of their semi-major axis. A major milestone for the detailed exploration of Mercury is NASA's MESSENGER mission. MESSENGER is a spacecraft that was launched in 2004 and operated between 2011 and 2015 to explore Mercury. MESSENGER was designed to study Mercury's surface and atmosphere in detail. The spacecraft has investigated Mercury's magnetosphere, magnetic field, geological features, surface composition, volcanic activity, and the presence of ice-like substances. The MESSENGER mission has revealed striking details on Mercury's surface. Detailed images of different geological features such as craters, plains, mountains and valleys were obtained. Additionally, important information has been provided about the existence and structure of Mercury's magnetic field. The MESSENGER mission also examined Mercury's atmosphere and the thin layer of gas surrounding the planet. Factors such as atmospheric composition, temperature and interaction with solar winds have been analyzed in detail. However, detailed exploration of Mercury was not limited to the MESSENGER mission. In recent years, transits close to Mercury have also been of great importance. Transits, which can be observed from Earth when Mercury passes in front of the Sun in its orbit, are made by watching a small dark spot that the planet creates as it passes through the light of the Sun during the transit. These transits provide more information about Mercury's orbit, dimensions, and surface features. 
important observations are also made about the existence and composition of the planet's atmosphere, especially during transits. Detailed exploration of Mercury has been greatly advanced by the MESSENGER mission and flybys. These observations and discoveries have enabled us to better understand Mercury's position and evolution within the solar system. In addition, important information has been obtained about the geological, magnetic and atmospheric properties of the planet. Mercury's historical significance is also closely linked to its relationship with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. General theory of relativity is a physics theory put forward by Einstein in 1915 and explains the gravitational field. One of the historically notable aspects of Mercury is the anomalies in its orbit. Mercury is known to have a small deviation in its orbit due to the eccentricity and rapid motion of its orbit. This deviation is a situation that has been observed since the time of Ptolemy and has been tried to be explained by Kepler's laws. While developing his general theory of relativity, Einstein claimed that it could more accurately explain the effects of the gravitational field on an object. According to this theory, gravity affects the orbits of objects by bending the space-time fabric. Anomalies in Mercury's orbit could be explained as a consequence of Einstein's theory of general relativity. The theory of general relativity predicts that the orbit of an object may deviate slightly under the influence of gravity. This deviation is observed as the slow advancement of the object's close passage point. Einstein's theory was met with great success by accurately calculating the deviation of Mercury's orbit. When theoretical calculations were used to predict the deviation of Mercury's orbit, they yielded results consistent with observations. This demonstrated that the general theory of relativity could be successfully applied and played an important role in explaining the anomalies in Mercury's orbit. Also revolutionized our understanding of the gravitational field and the structure of the universe in general. This theory became a cornerstone of modern physics and astronomy, making Einstein an important figure in many respects. Bepi Colombo, conducted jointly by the European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, for a detailed study of Mercury's surface mission plays a vital role. The Bepi Colombo spacecraft, launched in 2018, was sent to better understand the properties of Mercury and to discover clues about the formation and evolution of the planet. Bepi Colombo mission is a mission consisting of two separate spacecraft, the first of these is the Mercury Surface Explorer Module. The second is the Ionized Matter Research Module around the planet Mercury. These two modules separate after their arrival on Mercury and perform different tasks. The Bepi Colombo mission includes studying Mercury's magnetosphere, internal structure, surface composition, and volcanic activity. The scientific instruments carried by the spacecraft are used to achieve these goals module that studies Mercury's surface in detail and maps its geological features. High-resolution cameras and spectrometers are used to analyze the composition and mineralogy of the surface. There are also magnetometers and plasma analyzers to study the planet's magnetic field and its interactions. The ionized matter research module around the planet Mercury is designed to investigate the plasma environment and magnetic field around Mercury. The module has the instruments necessary to study the planet's magnetosphere and its interactions with the solar wind. The Bepi Colombo mission has collected important data about Mercury's surface, magnetic field, internal structure and atmosphere. These data have allowed us to better understand the planet's geological features and discover clues to Mercury's formation and evolution. If the mission continues successfully, we hope to obtain more data about Mercury's surface and environment. Mercury's role in the formation of the solar system has been the focus of research and debate. The formation of the solar system begins with the self-collapse of a cloud of dust and gas and involves a series of complex processes that include the formation of planets. Mercury, as the closest planet to the Sun, may have played an important role in its formation. 
However, our knowledge about the formation and evolution of Mercury is limited and some scientific debate still remains. Some researchers suggest that Mercury was formed as a result of a massive collision in the early phase of the solar system. According to this theory, as a result of Mercury's collision with a large protoplanet, its outer layers were stripped away, leaving a small core. This collision may explain Mercury's relatively high density and large iron core. Another theory suggests that heating and radiation from the Sun were effective in the formation process of Mercury. Solar winds and brightness may have caused Mercury's outer layers to blow away or evaporate, leaving a small core. To understand Mercury's role in the formation of the solar system, we need to better examine its surface and internal structure. Therefore, Bepi Colombo space exploration projects like the mission are critical to understanding the structure and formation of Mercury. As research and observations continue, we hope to learn more about Mercury's role in the formation of the solar system. This information will improve our overall understanding of planet formation and the evolution of the solar system. However, more research and analysis is required to provide complete certainty. Now, let's talk about the physical properties and surface of Mercury. Mercury is known as the smallest planet in the solar system. Their size and mass properties are quite limited compared to other planets. Mercury's diameter has been measured to be approximately 4,879 kilometers or 3,032 miles. This length means it is approximately one-third the diameter of the Earth. It is also quite small in terms of surface area. In terms of mass, Mercury's mass is approximately 5% of the mass of the Earth. So, Mercury has only one-fifth the mass of Earth. This indicates that Mercury is a very light planet in terms of mass. Mercury's small size and low mass affect the gravitational force on its surface. Gravity on Mercury is weaker than on Earth. The gravitational acceleration on its surface is approximately 3.7 meters per second squared. This is approximately one-third of Earth's gravitational acceleration. This means that a person, or object, feels lighter on the surface of Mercury than on Earth. Mercury's dimensions and mass properties are closely related to the planet's formation process and evolution. Scientists think that Mercury went through a different formation process than Earth and other planets. Its small size and low mass properties suggest that Mercury's internal structure may also be different. Extreme temperature conditions due to its proximity to the Sun. Surface temperatures vary widely, with large differences occurring both during the day and at night. During daylight hours, Mercury's surface temperature can get very high. Since it is a planet close to the Sun, it is intensely exposed to sunlight. In this case, surface temperatures can range from 400 to 450 degrees Celsius or 750 to 840 degrees Fahrenheit. This is equivalent to the temperature of an oven and is very high temperatures. At night, Mercury's surface temperatures drop dramatically. The planet cools rapidly because its atmosphere is very thin and has no heat retention mechanism from sunlight. In this case, surface temperatures can drop as low as minus 170 to 180 degrees Celsius or minus 280 to 290 degrees Fahrenheit. This is very low in cold temperatures. Because Mercury's atmosphere is so thin, it is difficult to speak of a climate in the conventional sense of the planet's climatic conditions. Its atmosphere consists mostly of helium, hydrogen, oxygen and some trace elements. This thin atmosphere interacts with particles from solar winds and causes certain atmospheric phenomena. Mercury's surface contains a variety of geological features, including craters, rocks, fissures, and plains. These features were shaped by the planet's volcanic activity, meteor impacts, and geological changes. Mercury is a planet characterized by large-scale craters and ridges on its surface. These geological features are the result of volcanic activity, meteor impacts, and geological changes in the planet's past. Craters are the most prominent geological features on Mercury's surface. These craters are pits formed as a result of meteor impacts. 
Because Mercury has no atmosphere, it has been exposed to meteor impacts more than other planets in the solar system. Therefore, craters are quite common on the surface of Mercury. Some craters are notable for their large diameters and depths, while others are smaller and less obvious. Ribs refer to elevations on Mercury's surface, such as mountains, hills and ridges. These ridges were formed due to tectonic activity and volcanic activities. Mercury is a planet that is thought to have experienced volcanic eruptions in the past. These volcanic activities were effective in the formation of the ridges. The ridges usually appear as prominent protrusions on the surface, and some have a very mountainous and complex structure. Mercury's surface also contains other geological features such as cracks, ridges, and streaks. These features arise due to geological changes and crustal movements of the planet. Some cracks and lines represent large fractures running across the surface, while ridges and ridges are the result of crustal movements within the planet. All of these geological features provide information about how Mercury's surface formed and evolved. Research and space missions have helped us better understand the origin and process of these geological features. These data contribute to our general understanding of the formation and evolution of the solar system. Mariner Valley is the largest valley complex on the planet Mercury and is also one of the largest valleys in the solar system. This large structure extends across the surface of Mercury and covers a large area. Mariner Valley was discovered by the Mariner 10 spacecraft in 1974. The exact size of the valley has not been precisely measured, but estimates suggest it is 1300 kilometers or 800 miles long. This is a distance longer than the Grand Canyon on Earth. In addition, there are parts of the valley that are 20 kilometers wide and 3 kilometers deep in places. Various theories have been proposed about the formation of Mariner Valley. One theory suggests that the valley was formed due to tectonic movements. Cracks in Mercury's crust and crustal movements may have led to the formation of the valley. Another theory thinks that the valley was formed as a result of lava flows. Large volcanic eruptions and lava flows may have created large depressions and cracks on the surface. Mariner Valley provide important information about the geological history of the planet Mercury. The layers and cracks inside the valley may offer clues about the planet's internal structure. Additionally, possible volcanic activity and crustal movements in the valley help us understand the geological evolution of Mercury. The Mariner Valley is an important geological feature of the planet Mercury that has been studied in detail. Compared to other regions of the planet, large fissures, collapses and volcanic scars in the valley allow us to understand the geological interactions and evolution of Mercury's surface. These data contribute to a more comprehensive understanding of the formation process of the solar system and the geological development of the planets. Mercury is a planet with large plains and volcanic areas on its surface. These plains and volcanic areas provide important clues about Mercury's geological history and volcanic activity. Mercury's plains are largely covered by basaltic lava. These lavas rose to the surface as a result of volcanic activity rising from within the planet. For this reason, basalt covers are commonly observed in the plains. Basalt is a volcanic rock rich in iron and magnesium and is commonly found on the surfaces of other planets in the solar system. Calories, one of Mercury's largest plains Planitia. This plain covers a large area on Mercury's surface and emerged as a deep depression. Calories Planitia is approximately 1,550 kilometers in diameter and is surrounded by volcanic features on the surrounding surface. Another important plain, the Rachmaninoff Basin, also indicates volcanic activity. This basin is located in the northern hemisphere of Mercury and is a fairly large depression. The Rachmaninoff Basin contains young surface features of Mercury and traces of volcanic eruptions. The plains and volcanic areas on Mercury allow us to understand the geological history and internal structure of the planet. Volcanic activity is a result of the release of thermal energy from within the planet. This provides important information about the planet's internal structure, crustal movements and volcanic activities. 
Additionally, the plains and volcanic mantles on Mercury provide important clues about the formation and evolution of the solar system. These fields help us understand how widespread volcanic activity was in the early solar system and how the surfaces of the planets were shaped. To summarize, the planet Mercury is a planet with large plains and volcanic areas on its surface. These plains and volcanic covers are formed by basaltic lava coming to the surface. Calories large plains such as Planitia and the Rachmaninoff Basin bear traces of Mercury's volcanic activity. These fields help us understand the planet's geological history, internal structure, and the evolution of the solar system. Mercury's plains and volcanic fields emerged as a result of the planet's geological activity. These areas were shaped by lava flows, volcanic eruptions and crustal movements. Mercury's plains and volcanic fields often have a different appearance than other surface features. Basalt mantles can have a flat, smooth surface and are generally dark in color. These features mean that lava flows spread across the surface and covered the plains. Volcanic activity provides clues about Mercury's geological history and internal structure. Volcanic eruptions are a result of heat escaping from the planet's interior. This shows that Mercury's inner layers are rich in temperature and magmatic activity. Additionally, the distribution and ages of volcanic features help us understand the geological evolution of the planet. The plains and volcanic areas on Mercury have been studied in more detail through space missions and ground-based observations. NASA's MESSENGER mission has mapped Mercury's surface in detail and determined the distribution of volcanic features. This mission helped us better understand the planet's geological structure and volcanic activities. The plains and volcanic areas on Mercury provide information about how the planet's surface formed and evolved. This information helps us answer fundamental scientific questions such as the formation of planets and the evolution of the solar system. Additionally, by examining how these features differ from their counterparts on other planets, it contributes to our understanding of planetary diversity and differing geological processes. Mercury's surface is generally covered with rocks and minerals. These rocks and minerals help us understand the planet's geological features and formation. Here are some rocks and mineral types commonly found on Mercury's surface. Basalt is the most common rock type on Mercury's surface. Basalt is a volcanic rock rich in iron and magnesium. It is frequently seen on the plains and volcanic areas of Mercury. There are significant amounts of silicate minerals on the surface of Mercury. Silicates are minerals composed of the elements silicon and oxygen. Various silicate minerals such as feldspars, pyroxenes, olivines can be found on the surface of Mercury. Limestone formations can also be found on the surface of Mercury. Limestone consists of calcium carbonate minerals. Such formations are more limited, but limestone formations can be observed in some areas. Mercury's surface is very rich in iron. Both elemental iron and iron oxide minerals are found. This causes the planet to be dark in color and have a reddish appearance due to the iron content of the basaltic lava on its surface. Evidence of the presence of sulfur-containing minerals has been found on the surface of Mercury. Traces of sulfur can be observed especially in volcanic regions. The rocks and mineral composition on Mercury's surface allow us to understand the planet's formation process and geological history. Space missions, particularly the MESSENGER mission, have mapped Mercury's surface in detail and studied the distribution of rocks and minerals. These data provided more information about the planet's internal structure, volcanic activity and geological evolution. The color changes observed on the surface of Mercury occur due to both internal and external effects. Here are the main reasons for these color changes. As internal effects, volcanic activity on Mercury's surface is one cause of color changes. Volcanic lavas are often dark in color and can affect the overall appearance of the surface. Different types of minerals on Mercury's surface can have different colors. For example, iron oxide minerals may have a reddish color, while silicate minerals may have different colors. Different mineral compositions can change the color tone of the surface. 
External effects, Mercury is a planet quite close to the Sun and sunlight has a great impact on this surface. Sunlight is absorbed or reflected by surface rocks and minerals, which can cause color changes. Mercury's surface is constantly under the influence of micrometeorites. These micrometeorite impacts can leave scars on the surface or cause rocks to disperse. This may cause color changes. Mercury is a planet directly exposed to the effects of the solar wind. Solar wind can cause movement and displacement of fine particles on the surface. This may change the color tone of the surface. Color changes on Mercury's surface occur in conjunction with the planet's dynamic geological processes and external influences. These color changes have been studied in more detail through space missions and ground-based observations. These studies help us understand Mercury's surface colors and variations and learn more about the planet's geological structure and evolution. The density of craters on Mercury's surface provides important information about the planet's geological history. Crater density relates to the number and distribution of craters in a region. This density shows how many craters the region is covered with and how old these craters are. The greater the crater density, the older that area is considered to be. The crater density on Mercury's surface is quite high. This is because the planet is limited by geological processes such as volcanic activity and erosion, and its surface remains mostly unchanged. Crater density can vary significantly between different regions on the surface. Some areas have many craters, while other areas may have fewer craters. Crater density is related to the formation process of craters and impact effects. The craters were formed as a result of impacts caused by meteoroids or asteroids that hit Mercury in the past. The size of craters depends on the size and speed of the impacting object. Larger and faster impacts create wider and deeper craters. Crater density analysis is a method used to determine the age of Mercury's surface. The number and distribution of craters on the surface reflect the cratering rate of the planet. If an area is covered with many craters, it is considered to be older and has been subjected to impacts over a longer period of time. Crater density data is used to understand the geological evolution of the planet and compare the ages of different regions. Crater density and age determination studies of Mercury's surface, especially MESSENGER it has become more detailed with the data collected by the mission. These data have been used to map crater density and distribution, helping us understand the geological history of the planet's surface. Don't forget to subscribe for brand new documentaries and more scientific content.